Connor Berkowitz wins Lucky 7s, Day 1C of the main event begins, and Mike Gorodinsky leads the Player of the Year race. Welcome to Poker 7. The $777 Lucky 7s No Limit Hold'em tournament came to an end yesterday, and it was 25-year-old New Jersey poker pro Connor Berkowitz who took down one of the last remaining gold WSOP bracelets at over $487,000. It was a huge field which drew in 4,422 entries, including David Yu, who cashed in third, and the well-known pro Farah Jaka, who came fifth. It's day 1C of the most famous poker tournament in the world today, the main event, and it's the last remaining starting day. William Kakon leads from day 1A, and last night's chip leader from day 1B is Hamid Faiz, who finished with over 182,000 in chips, 30,000 more than Kakon. Defending WSOP Player of the Year, George Danza gave the shuffle up and deal announcement and ended the day nicely himself on over 90,000. Other notables to make it through yesterday were Brian Hastings, Greg Raymer, and Jason Mercier. Players who fell along the way include Dan Smith, Scott Seaver, and Steve O'Dwyer. With only the 10K main event left to go in this year's WSOP, let's review some of the numbers this edition is leaving us so far. The GPI WSOP Player of the Year race is currently being led by Mike Gorodinsky with 2,157.19 points after his seven caches this summer, including a first, second and third place. Anthony Zinno sits in second with 1,942.72 points after winning the recent 25K PLO event for over $1.1 million. Paul Volpe, Sean Deeb and Brian Hastings complete the top five. Meanwhile, 2013 main event champion Jonathan Duhamel is the biggest earner this series, taking first place in the high roller for one drop and pocketing nearly $4 million. We have three players tied for the most amount of caches with Eric Baldwin, Joe Kuther, and Mark Radoja all cashing an impressive 10 times. We hope you enjoyed today's show. For the Global Poker Index, I'm Laura Cornelius. See you on the circuit.